It's a pizza ain't got no cheese on it. Ah, okay. Y'all listen up. I'm going to show you how to make a pizza. Somebody left me a comment. Uh, I might say right on the get-go, you just wells to get the car started because you're going to be wanting to make one of these pizza pies. And the reason what prompted this, and I done been down through the neighborhood, Gunner, uh, to see what I could get to put on this pie. Done. I got the oven heating at 400 degrees, and I'm going to bake this pie for about 15 minutes, but I'm going to show you how to put it together. And I, I borrowed this. This is actually a pizza pie crust. It's actually a real live one. Ain't no, I'm not going to be fooling around with this recipe. You see that right there? Uh, I'm going to make a pizza pie that don't have any cheese on it because it gasses the duct tape girl. And, and I'm going to show you that you can actually make a pizza without cheese and you see this right here this is that pesto stuff it, you, you get it in a jar most anywhere has this pesto stuff you find a restaurants but anyways I got that up I got that pesto on yonder just randomly and this right here is I, I borrowed this from the lady across the lake over there it's uh, it's actually this is actually pizza stuff, tomato sauce is what this is. It's not the good stuff and don't have much body to it. Uh, it's a cheese lus. Ain't no, ain't no cheese on this pizza. But you see what I done went and done? If you, if you already left in the car, uh, you can put replay on this right here and it'll show you how to do it. But you see I got what on yonder right there now? And, and I done already, these are pineapples, and I done already diced them up for so it wouldn't take too long. And you just throw them on this here pizza shell just at random. Uh, actually, the more the better, but use discretion. And it's a, oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a treat there with a sleepover crowd. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? This is pretty darn good. Uh, the only, there is variations. You can do what you want to with it. But you see what I'm doing here? Just put them on there. Get them on there. Don't be fooling around with it. Get her done. Okay, we, we got them on there like that. And then right here, that other woman down here and across the ways had these, um, their mushrooms. And you just put ever how many you want. These are actually stems, you know, and some pieces. But you, you know what I mean? This was a whole, them, them are little bitty small cans, mushrooms. I'm just going to put the whole thing on there. Uh, there ain't no need to have a couple of mushrooms left. Well, I mean, what you going to do with a leftover mushroom? Just think about it. This is uh, crushed pepper. And you see how many I got there? Oh, it's just a very few, and I'm just, I'm just going to sprinkle them on yonder. You, you want that to be a surprise? This right here is some home, homemade, home, uh, you know what I mean? They put the hog in the grinder and they homemade this sausage, and, and, and I went over yonder and bummed some of them out of it before they got it all home, and I did grease this pan down with some of that there uh, shortening, they call it. But you see what it done went done here? I put that on there like that, and, and I advise you to do the same. I do, I'm not going to put that on there right there. This right here is, uh, this is some crushed tomatoes. And I'm just going to say put, you know what I mean? Just enough to where you know you've been okay. there. I did decide to put some more of those, uh, them, them are crushed tomatoes. Uh, this right here, you will, you will be rewarded. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put this in the oven, and, and I'm going to show it to you what it looks like. Okay. Hey, hey, y'all, are you back? Are you back from the store? Lee Yonner, I tell you, I asked the question, 
I'm going to put this out there to the world to see who would want, I question, who would want to put cheese on such a beautiful pizza? Oh, look under it ain't even stuck. Look at it. I tell you what, it, that's near perfection. The pesto that was on first, the only requirement that you have to meet in order to call a pie a pizza is you have to cut it with one of these pizza cutters. And I'm going to show you something. You see this right here? When I made that first cut right there, at that point, this became a pizza. I put this out there for all to see that, uh, oh, it's, uh, oh, it's, uh, look yonder. That is near perfection as far as a pizza crust should be. I question you once more. Who would want to put cheese on a pizza? No cheese? Leave a comment. This, this may be the world's best cheeseless. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to quit fooling around with it. It's, uh, it's time to move on. I have to make about 10 of these pies. I should have cut that a little more. I have to make about 10 of these. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and eat this one right here. Should have done already had those, the 10 of them. I should have already had those. Uh, well, I'm late. Uh, it, it's, I believe it's going to be worth it. And I submit this. Uh, cheeseless pizza. I'm going to get the glass of milk. Enjoy the pie. Y'all leave a comment. And as always, I suggest a cup of milk. Enjoy. Okay. Hey, do y'all want me to leave you with a, you want me to leave you with a puzzler for the week? A question, so to speak. Um, the question for this, for today, is uh, what color is a Ford Focus? Just think about it. Leave a comment.